Hey guys, UW Ultra here. Welcome back to the channel. Bringing you another video, this time for the GTA 5 remastered version on the PS5. Uh, before jumping in, just quick reminder for everyone, especially my new viewers, I make two versions of every video. So I make a, a screen recorded and then an off the screen uh, recording with my iPhone. I call it the POV version. Depending on what you're watching right now, you can find the alternate version of the video linked in the description. Um, obviously, just here being on the console, uh, not any specific settings like a PC that I can show, but just so that you can see there, I am playing this game in the performance RT fidel uh, mode or graphics mode. Um, and then also just briefly showing this the HDR settings I currently have set up. Um, jumping into this, there's a few points I wanted to make here real quick about this, uh, particularly with GTA 5. This, so historically speaking, this is one of my favorite games of, I guess what would be the last two console generations. Now, where I'm, I, admittedly, I'm a little disappointed is that uh, primarily being a PC gamer, that's where my perspective comes in on how this game looks and performs and everything, but I want to address it in a few different ways. So first, if we're talking about this remaster versus uh, console, so if you're a console player, you know, even coming from the PS4 uh, generation of this game and then coming into this remaster, you know, I wouldn't say the improvements are that substantial, but the, but they're certainly noticeable. Again, I mean, the, the 60 FPS helps. Improved textures definitely look better compared to you know previous console generation. Then you have like the improved particle effects, lighting, smoke, um, sm like the smoke from like vehicles or explosions. Um, and then also just the, the ray tracing. Now, worth noting on that real quick, it's, it's just ray trace shadows. It's not like global illumination or reflections. But if... Again, if we're talking that console versus console concept, then you know I, I could definitely argue or say that this would be a is, is a worthwhile uh, expansion, at least at, at a you know reduced price. Um, now, from my perspective, again, if we're talking like versus PC, and I'll even split this into two real quick. Uh, the if we're talking like vanilla PC, so like no mods at all, versus this version, this GTA 5 remaster. I mean, it, this remaster is like 95% the same as the PC version. They, they basically just brought over the PC version with, with you know, max settings or settings turned up over to consoles. And so, not saying it's a bad thing. Again, I'm glad that from a console player's perspective, you can experience that. But again, as a PC gamer, like I, there, you know, outside of, again, just the improved particle effects and a better, uh, a better smoke texture, like there's really no changes here. And... You know the the only other thing worth worth that's notable, I guess, is HDR. So now, like, there's actual proper HDR implementation in this version, which certainly is great. Don't want to knock that. I mean, you, if you if you're watching my POV version of this video, you'll probably be able to notice that on it on the on my uh, LG OLED. But now let's go into where, how I really play GTA V uh, modded. So. Um, for those who maybe don't know of your again, if you're a console player, GTA Five has hundreds of mods at this point for the PC version and tons of different graphics mods, especially. And personally, I play with the Visual V or Visual Five uh, mod, which vastly improves reflections, texture quality. It solves all the anti-aliasing issues, like. And then, not to mention other mods I've added, which adds vehicles. It changes some road textures. Yeah, it also changes weather effects, like. Across the board, when you're talking modded GTA 5, it is so much, in my opinion, just so much better than than this remaster. And that's kind of where it's a little disappointing or frustrating. I'm I'm actually going to be uploading a, a video after this of how my uh, my modded version of GTA looks and how that plays on my LG OLED. So um, you'll be that way you'll be able to see the differences here. But that's where, like I said, this is kind of just I guess disappointing. Um, I would, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, although there's no official confirmation, that they'll take this groundwork of this remaster and bring it over to PC, because one, I think it'd be awesome to turn everything up if with additional settings you can manage, but also then, you know, have the modding community do their thing with that new baseline. So either way, you know, again, I know this is a little bit more of a long-winded <laughs> explanation, but I'll let you just enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Now, I'm not doing anything in particular, just just causing trouble <laughs> um, just so you can see the world so with that um yeah just i appreciate you guys being here just please leave a like subscribe share and i'll talk to you later